everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning December 13th, 2021. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. You can get an angelic message or an Akashic Records reading. There isn't an option for the Akashic Records reading. Just put that in your submission form and we'll work it all out, okay? So there's that and any additional content like Archangel Meditation Challenges that help you connect with Archangels to do deep transformation, have an angelic encounter. All of that is over at gumroad.com slash angel souls. So let me get the cards here. Uh, I bet we have had maybe some exciting times. We've also probably had some very challenging times and watching the world transform and shift. Okay, but got a beautiful card that popped out already. I'm gonna get all of them here and we will, there's another one. We'll talk about it. Yes, good things are coming in. Okay, so this time has been really about uh, clearing away the old and really getting in touch with what matters, all right? Doesn't matter if we're seen a certain way by people or um, if, you know, I don't know what it is. It's this whole feeling of this gigantic, it's huge, this gigantic shift around, we don't care what your title is. We don't care, you know, um, what you've accomplished. I know it's not necessarily what you've accomplished. It's more like um, not just honoring people for no reason. Does that make sense? They've barely done anything in life and we're like, oh my God, they're the greatest. Cards are everywhere, okay. And they are good. <laughs> There's only one that's showing that we are a little exhausted, a little tired, but okay. So the first and the last ones that popped out, we have nine of Raphael and Ace of Raphael. So when we talk about getting in touch with the heart space, we are not kidding, okay? <laughs> we have to get out of the intellect a little bit and back into the heart space. So let's start with the nine of Raphael here. It says, make a wish. Dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. Now that was the first one that came out. And I feel the need to point out that there's like a, I don't know if this is like an Australian shepherd dog. There's like a black and white dog on there. I don't know, that's meaningful to some people. If you had a dog like that, that passed over, um, you know, that's a message I think for you. Like, hi, everything's great. <laughs> We're doing great here. And the last card that popped out is Ace of Raphael. Okay, so it's like the Ace of Cups. A positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. Deep and spiritual lasting, wait, what was it? Deep and lasting spiritual insights. That is an important takeaway. That is an, a very important takeaway. We have to get in touch with what really matters. So this is that sort of thing. If you are somebody who works all the time and you're neglecting your love life, or maybe you have a family and you're negle neglecting your family, it's time to reassess. It's time to come back in and say, no, I have to balance this out more because my family is everything to me. Or, <laughs> you know, my love partner, I wanna nourish that relationship. This is definitely, or, you know, listen, some of you out there who have completely abandoned your emotional side, maybe even for some people who have abandoned their empathy, uh, something is gonna move and shake and wake you up. And now you're gonna have to figure out how to reconnect that part of you, okay? So be aware of that. So then we have three of Gabriel, prosperity arising from wise planning. Take excuse me, time to take the next step, optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So we always say this is your ship coming in, right? So some opportunity, something has come up and now it is time for you to manifest. But here's the deal. If you're not coming from a heart space, if you're not coming from pure intentions, it's just gonna be more struggle, okay? Now, for some of us, this is coming after a time of like, oh man, I've been working so hard. Where's the payoff, <laughs> right? Not that we have to do things for a payoff, but it is kind of nice to maybe be able to pay your bills and be able to, you know, feel good about what you're putting out into the world. But this is where a lot of us are coming from. Nine of Gabriel, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility, environmental activism. Yeah, so again, some of us have been planting those seeds. We've been ready for the harvest for a while. And here we go. Here is something where mm, I feel like just when you think, oh God, if one more thing piles up on me, because then it would be like the 10 of Gabriel, right? So if one more thing comes at me, 
I'm going to lose it, right? <laughs> like it's one of those feelings for some people out there and it's saying, no, it's fine because now here comes a solution or here comes uh, guidance. Yes, very much so. It feels like guidance, but this is something that isn't just intellectually satisfying. See, this is what has made us struggle so much. We're going after um, the intellectual pursuit, okay? How we look, what our image is, how much money do we have? What can we afford? Yeah, I was going through my wardrobe, getting planned for all the videos and stuff. And I was laughing because this is the time of year when, when it comes to wardrobe for my YouTube videos, I go to the clearance section. Are you freaking kidding me? Bonus points if you figure out my outfits and what collective clearance section, what store it came from. <laughs> But like, you know, because I wear them in the videos and you know, that's about it. Then you gotta keep your wardrobe fresh, I guess. So like, it's very practical for a freelancer to do it that way. It has this feeling of moving away from being worried about what other people have to say, or, you know, again, trying, trying to impress others. There's this thing here, we're letting that down now and we are getting back into our heart space or we're seeing where a lot of correction needs to take place. Okay, so again, it, it's it's honoring the emotional side of things, coming from a pure intentioned space. Okay, creating from the heart. If you're not in touch with your heart, or if you say, and I'll probably get a lot of comments like this, my heart is broken. I can't, you know, tap into my heart. Well, now is a beautiful time to seek help about that and uh, to have a turnabout. Okay, don't be afraid to do that. I like this. I like this energy a lot. Your hard work is paying off. Um, it definitely has a feeling of be careful what you wish for. Watch out for that. <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah, let's talk about, oh man, I, we have this discussion all the time. If you're out there trying to manifest that one specific person, this is another reason why I get a little, a little testy about some readings out there. It can get you stuck. What does he feel about you? Oh, he loves you. He adores you. Well, that's a great story. It brought a tear to my eye, but maybe he's the biggest jerk on the planet. Just because someone loves you doesn't mean that that's a healthy dynamic for you. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So be careful with this Ace of Raphael card. Don't just manifest somebody because, oh, hi, I got this turned over. Um, don't just manifest somebody because you, you think intellectually that's who you should be with. Does that make sense? All right. What do we have here? First quarter moon in Virgo, assess the situation. Again, it has, okay, so for some of you, this is like a, a new love potential coming in. If you've been single for a while, you've been single for a while, you've been dating. Oh my God, this is most of our dating lives. <gasps> you know, oh my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> this could be a new romantic partner coming in, but take it slow. Like it says, assess the situation. You don't want to be suspicious or like, you know what I mean? But if you feel like there are some old lessons about to pop up, recognize that. Okay, recognize that and stand back and go, okay, you know what? What will be my wish fulfillment. What do I really want out of love? You know, let's talk about the love thing here for just a moment and we'll get on to other messages. But, you know, I recently <laughs> had this whole thing where I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been like choosing very temporary partners because I've been so focused on my career that I'm like, I'm so busy. I need someone who can kind of be at arm's length and what have you. And then recently I'm like, okay, but if I want real love, I need to commit to that love and I need to commit to self-love as well. If I, you know, and, and what kind of, if I really want love, what kind of partner will that show up as? And started to realize that for years and years, steady love partners, people who really could have offered a lot of love and caring, I've pushed them out. Cause I'm like, oh, well, okay. Yeah, that feels like that's gonna take a lot of my time. <laughs> Like, I don't know. And it was something I was so numb to. And I'm offering this as an example because I bet a lot of you can relate, especially if you are very career focused. I see clients like that all the time, whether, you know, very career focused and they come in and they're like, where's the love? Why didn't it just land in my lap? Well, the thing is, is that it keeps coming to you, but we often push it back out because we think it's going to be too much or whatever, okay? So I wanna lay that down. This can also go into, you know, projects, career, where you live, you know, whatever situation, whatever portion of your existence you are dealing with right now, 
this can be that kind of thing with, well, I wanna finish that project, but I've got all these day-to-day -day things to take care of, especially around this time of year, right? All the holidays going on. Yeah, it's a lot, right? So it really, as it says, assess the situation. Look at what your priorities are. I think that's really what we're getting at here. Reprioritize, make love, and um, you know the emotional experiences be a part of this as well. Out of all of these cards, the only card, as I said, is the Nine of Gabriel. And that is, all right, I'm showing up for the reward. Okay, great, there's some payoff here. But, you know, some of you are really dragging into this. And there can also be a, a little message here to make sure that you're resting, okay? Make sure you get some rest before you start going into this. So healing any heartbreak, if you've been stressed about a work situation, for example, you know, kind of healing from all of that, don't miss the lesson. Don't miss the lesson because it will repeat. We don't need that. We don't need, <laughs> don't need lessons coming back around, okay? We want to be able to take advantage of prosperity and abundance coming in and, uh, you know, being able to fully enjoy our wishes coming true. So something good is on deck here. If you're going to be in a negative space, you're going to pull, uh, pull it. You're going to push it back out. And if you are not being fake positive, but you're really processing through, then you're going to have some lovely uh, things coming in and some lovely realizations. Remember, it doesn't have to be just this external uh, situation that's going on. This could be this internal shift that really frees you, okay? So be ready for that, guys. We're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.